Greetings, this is Spec Ops 56 and my faithful Indian companion, cameraman, and fellow reviewer, John Toe, coming to you with Dueling Rum and Soda Review number 7. Today we're going to be reviewing uh, Navy Bay Rum and a new diet soda that I had never heard of before. Uh, it's a Diet Dr. Pepper and Cream Soda. <laughs> now let me tell you a little bit about what we got here. The Navy Bay Rum is a dark Jamaican rum. Distilled on the island of Jamaica in both pot and column stills and aged in ex-American bourbon barrels. This rum is both sweet and spicy with rich notes of molasses, brown sugar, and cinnamon. ABV is 40%, and their tasting notes says medium, fruit, wood, balanced. <laughs> now, the soda, this is Dr. Pepper and Cream Soda. A brand new duet that is sweeter than any other, the beloved Dr. Pepper paired with the richness of cream soda makes for perfect flavor harmony. Take a sip of the symphony of deliciousness. Now per serving the calories are zero, total fat zero, sodium 100 milligrams, total carbs zero, and protein zero. Ingredients are carbonated water, caramel color, natural and artificial flavors, aspartame, which I don't generally like, sodium benzoate, preservative, phosphoric acid, caffeine, and sodium phosphate. Ah, now, <clears throat> neither John nor I have ever tried either this rum or this soda. They do make a non-diet version, but I like to do the diet ones you know, because I like to anything that'll help keep my blood sugar down. And plus, I think it's a little more interesting to see how how these things work with a diet soda. Because if they're good with a diet soda, you know they're probably going to be pretty good with the regular version. So anyway. Uh, so neither one of us having tried these, we're going to be reviewing each one individually and then together. So, John, you need to re reposition the camera, and uh, I think we will try the soda first this time. I got some ice here. I'll put a couple of few there, and you get a few. Now I could say that I do like Dr. Pepper and I do like cream soda. I don't know whether I'm going to like the two combined. Okay, there you go. It just smells like Dr. Pepper to me. Yeah, just like it. Wait, the bubbles go away. It's different. I can taste the Dr. Pepper and I can taste the cream soda. soda. Together they sort of almost cancel each other out. Mm -hmm. I mean they, they, you get an equal amount of taste from, each from both of them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not bad for a diet, diet soda. Yeah, yeah. I got a little bit of the aspartame aftertaste. I did too. It's still there. Not a lot, but I got a little. But uh, I suspect that the rum will take care of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it will. <laughs> Speaking of which, we will now try the rum. I like that it's a nice dark rum. Mm, okay. Let me get to 
Well, I can smell it already from over here. There we go. I think I can handle okay. this. It's got a little, a little, portal little thing on here that uh, it won't all come out at once. Yeah, so it won't shove across I should be safe. <laughs> okay. Well, I want to have enough for us to sip and try and then a full shot to go in the mm. in the drink. Okay, now. Nice dark rum flavor smell. Mm. Mm. Yep, yeah, that's gonna shake all over the place here. Uh, yeah, I can smell the molasses. That's what I'm smelling. Mm -hmm. You know, with the alcohol undertone. But I smell the molasses first thing. I'm not really smelling the spice too much. Mm -hmm. Not like you do with the Kraken. Smooth, slightly bitter. Of course, the booziness, because it's going to be. Yeah, I get I get more booziness with this mm -hmm. right off the bat than I do with the Kraken. Yeah. I get a little bit of the molasses sweetness. I'm not really tasting the spices, not like you do with Kraken. Mm -mm. I mean, it may be there, but I'm not really getting it. Maybe. Maybe if it's mixed, it'll come uh, out. I, I have to say... On its own, straight, I'm not a fan. No. Okay. Uh, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't give it a thumbs up by itself. No. Okay. Let's see how it is combined with this oddball <laughs> soda. Give it a second here. I imagine it's going to really change. I right, imagine so. Now, what do you think of the soda by itself? The soda's good. Uh, it's got that aspartame, which I don't care for. As far as the flavor of the uh, Dr. Pepper and cream, yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah, it's okay, yeah. Mm. It smoothed the rum right out. I I'm not, I don't think so. I, I taste the rum right off the, you did. Right off the top. Uh, it's hard to describe. It, it, it's like I got both the Dr. Pepper cream soda flavor and the rum flavor. Almost like I was drinking it from separate glasses at the same time. Uh-huh. Okay, there was... It didn't seem to to blend the flavors to me like other combinations right. we've done. You're right about that. It's it's almost like they're separate, but yeah. together. But at but yeah, yeah. But, but at the same time. Yeah. Because I taste the rum to start with, and then the Dr Pepper is slightly subdued. And I can't say that I like it. It's not one of my favorites. I don't think I like. I, I don't think I like the rum by itself. I don't like the rum and the Dr Pepper cream soda together. But I like the Dr Pepper cream soda. Okay. Yeah. By itself. I kind of tend to drift the same way. So over that. so I'm gonna give. A thumb down on the rum and a thumb up on the Dr. Pepper and a thumb down on the combination. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same. And you know, this is the very first of these dueling rum and sodas that we've done that we did not like did the not. rum, and it's also the first one we didn't like the combination. Yeah. So, well, it was bound to happen sooner or later. Right. Can't, so, can't like them all. So, uh, but somebody else might love it. So, so, I, so I guess that's um, one, two, three, four thumbs down and two thumbs up. <laughs> that's uh, it in total. So, uh, you guys, if you have to, you back it up and and rerun this part so that you can figure out <laughs> what the score is. <laughs>
So anyway, this has been Dueling Rum and Soda Review Number 7. We will see you at the next one.